Good morning, everybody. It's our sizzle and put in behind the camera, of course. We are on our own today. We are up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida. We just put in the boat at Sandsbrick Park here, and there's a bunch of commercial fishermen here today. We are excited. It is gorgeous out. The sun has already risen. We're here a little late today. <laughs> Cracking in fishing team. But today we are gonna get hopefully some shrimp. We got some live bait from the live bait guys, and we're gonna hit some docks and some structures and try to get them some silk and some other amazing species. Let's do it. Get over here. Woo! Nice. He inhaled that hook, I think. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get freed through. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, that was nice. Sick. Come here, come here, come here. Give me your lip. All right, y'all, check that out. First fish in the boat, gorgeous snook. But that's what we wanted just at the first, actually the second dock that we were casting at this morning, just totally inhaled that really frisky live thread fin that we got this morning from the live bait guys. Nice fish, she's not gonna keep. It is now slot season, by the way, to keep slot snook, they gotta be a minimum of 28 to a maximum of 32 inches long. Really small slot window there, but we need to catch slot. That's gonna be our goal today. We'll see what happens. But this fish is a nice fish. I'm gonna call it 25. Let's see. 25. Pretty dang close. We're actually 26. Nice, gorgeous fish though. Look at those colors. Put up a nice fight, had that drag, drag locked down to pull her out of the docks. Let's let her go. 26 inches, just need two more inches. Oh, she's biting me already. That was sick though. You ready? We have no current right now. We're waiting for the tide to start going out and this fish just ate with no current. So if you're not out here with no current or whatever the situation might be, if you don't have a line in, you can't catch them. There she goes. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna get, show you guys what I'm doing here today. This is the only bait we have so far. We're hoping to maybe catch a mullet later on or maybe go get some shrimp. We're just gonna have to see what happens. This is all I got as far as live bait goes and put in is throwing some artificials. This is a 5 aught mustad circle hook. You really wanna match it to the size of your bait so the bait can swim naturally. You don't wanna use a teeny tiny hook because that's not gonna penetrate the fish correctly. What I'm doing with these guys, I'm just going through the upper lip like so, not through both lips. And I'm really holding on to their jaw when I do that, or their throat area so it doesn't rip. Um, they're really you know, sensitive. And that's basically it, just cast them out like that so that way the point is exposed and it can't double back on the fish. I'll show you what, a double, what it means when the hook doubles back if it happens again today. But now I'm just gonna cast them out underneath the docks and I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, which I know is a little on the light side, but you know I'm trying to get those bites today and trying to catch fish. And as you can see, it just worked on that last fish. So here we go on the next dock. John. Woo! Nice. Sick. Feisty snook this morning. Gee whiz. Very feisty. Nice. All right. About the same size as that first snook. Oh, I don't want to lose them on the boat. I'm landing them very fast, like seconds. Seconds within actually hooking the fish just because I have this drag locked down under these docks and structures. These fish can just break me off in two seconds. Very lively. Woo! That fish was getting chased for a while. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I'm very mad. Nice. Okay. Woo, chill out, buddy. All right, check out that guy. Very gorgeous lit up snook there. 
Juvenile, a little smaller than that first guy. We can see that circle hook doing his job. We'll pop that out real quick and let him go. This fish was very hungry. Ate that big old thread fin and got him out from under the structure. That's what counts. So if we get a slot today underneath these, chill out. If we get a slot today underneath these structures, it's gonna be a miracle if I can rip them out. But nice one, second snook. I pulled one bait out of a snook's mouth, so I'm two for three. Three for two, two for three. All right, let's let him go. Turn them into the current. Actually, the current's going this way, so it's good to put their mouth like this. Let them get some air. He's sucking my thumb. Let go. Let go. There he goes. You're free. Sweet. Okay. Let's get another line right back out. See what else we can get. See, even that fish right there just frayed that 30 pound leader. So I'm still catching fish and getting bites, but I just gotta constantly keep retying and check my leader because they can fray it real fast. That's why he's balling ass out of there. Oh, 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 we're getting tight. I'm wrapped up. Get over here. Woo, another small snooky. We're catching them though. That's what counts. We just need a big mama. Big mama, woo. All right, y'all, so we are crushing the snook today. As you can see, I'm gonna be posting the exact fishing spot of where we are, fishing these docks up here in Stewart, Florida with you guys. So you guys can come out here and do the same on the Fish Angler app, which is an excellent app for us anglers. Been on the app for almost a year. You guys can follow me. Information is down below and uh, it's totally free, so download it, check it out. Let's see, buddy, come here. Hungry fish today. Current is starting to move real nice. We usually like an outgoing tide when we're catching snook. And today it's totally paying off. Let's just fold it in. There he is. This guy's hungry. You can see he's a little on the skinny side, but a snook is a snook. No complaints, he got a free meal right there. Not a keeper, so he has to go home. There we go. Chill out, buddy, chill out, buddy. Very lively, catching them so fast. Let's let them go. Let's get a big mama. Gotta get a bigger one. You ready? Ready, nice. All right, let's get more baits. Big old Jack. <laughs> Jeez, that was insane. Bait was almost underneath that dock over here, and then it just got crushed. And I watched the line just. Like, like it just made this hissing sound coming out of the water as this big old fish just came out of the dock and just took off. Insane, I'm pretty sure it's a big old jack, but so much fun catching these things. He's pulling drag and it's locked too, but I can feel those powerful jack shakes. I'll be shocked if it's something else, but you never know. Nice. I don't follow my fish, but I don't want them by the dock. <laughs> oh. Big old Jack. Woo! He's close. I got that drag locked on him. He's still pulling strong. Pound for pound, one of the hardest fighters right here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Uh. Nice. That's a stud right there. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now only if I had a stud snook in the boat, that would be epic, but not complaining. It's always awesome to bend rods here and catch these awesome jack cravals. You know, this is what a lot of people come to Florida. They actually do catch with our local charter guides and captains here and these things get ma massive. This is a nice one, but I mean, they get huge. We call them canal tunas. 
Look at that beast. Woo -wee. Look at that fish. Stud right there, you can hear him talking. Stud, nice fish. Look at the yellows, he's so gorgeous. Always fun fight. Like I said, can't complain about this guy. I would normally keep him for trap bait, but I'm gonna do the fish got the favor today and let him go, see if we can get something else bigger. Always gotta let one fish go, y'all. I'm just gonna push him head first. I think that's the best way to do it. Told you. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Let's get back on the snook grind. Holy cow, I just can't believe the size of these baits. Just got another snook, y'all. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. I'm just gonna flip them. Jeez, these guys are hungry. I can't believe he tried to eat that gigantic bait. I mean, this guy does not have the mouth for it whatsoever. Eating something that is way bigger than his stomach or mouth, that's insane. But I hooked him. Smallest snook of the day. I'm like the biggest bait I've thrown out so far. Chill out, buddy, I'm letting you go. There he is. Small, hungry little guy, let's let him go. Where are the monsters hiding? They're hiding from me. And he's biting me. There he goes. Snook number four, lost a couple. We're just checking out different spots, different areas where the docks are sticking out the furthest. And now we're gonna move on to the next location, hopefully get some more fish. This one? That's whatever one, that's fine. We want to go up there more? Yeah. You ready, Sizzle? Ready. I'm finally in the video, guys. You finally let me be in the video. I've been telling him to be in the video. <laughs> I don't know why you're being weird today. I'm not being weird. So we're going to stock stinks. Yeah, so we're going to Snook Nook. If you're going to Snook Nook, you got to make sure you wear your shoes on the dock. A lot of bird poop. Darcy likes to get shrimp here, but I like to go to Freddy's to get lunch. So exactly. that's why I'm in the video now. Exactly. Lunch time. Exactly. He can take it for you. I can take it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a great day. Just got a little ketchup. All right, let's do it. All right, mission accomplished for pudding. Now the key to Freddy's is on these hot dogs is they grill the bun in like Delicious. They grill the bun or the piece of bread. It's so good. Jack. Hey, it's a fish. Brian's first fish. Hoorah. He's not very excited. And he's gone. I'm excited. Every fish Get is a great excited. fish. excited. Fish dream inspire. Follow your dreams. Catch jacks. Catch jacks. More jacks. More jacks. I appreciate it. Woo! Little snook for pudding. I'm just gonna flip them in. Yeah. Whoop. Got a snook, Brian. Nice. All right, guys, I'm using that new rod Darcy got me. I told you about in the last video, and just a popping cork, 30 pound leader, and a circle hook to a uh, big shrimp we just got from a snook nook. And as Darcy always says, circle hook is right in the corner. Okay, it came out nice and easy. Woohoo! Just bind me a little bit in the leg. Oh, we're gonna get him right back in the water. Nice. Get your line. Oh, I'm wrapped up again. No! Oh, stop. What? Talk. I'm wrapped up. Coming back. You got me back in this do dock. I'm coming back. Shoot. Just had him freed. All right, I'm going back. Going back what? Okay. I'm drifting back. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Freeze bullet. Okay, watch out, watch out. Watch out. I'm trying. Watch out. Push her off. Jesus. 
Got him. No! It's a big old sheep's head. Holy God. Oh my God. Get net, 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 net. Please don't pop off. No. Oh. Language. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What about that? <laughs> you trip saver. The biggest sheep's head of my life. Heck yes. I'm going to line light back down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're looking for the slot snook. We'll have literally less than 20 minutes of our day left to go here fishing. And you just never know. I was losing hope today, but we just scored a nice fish taco dinner. Look at that. The uh, yellowtail jig right in the corner size of, of that the thing. Mouth. This thing is insane. He got me wrapped up back in the structure. I don't even know how we got him out, but we drifted back. I let the line go slack. It was pretty epic. And it felt like it was a nice fish. But that is a stud right there, bro. That is the biggest sheep I've thing. ever witnessed. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that fish, y'all. Hold on. I got to get a line right back out because now I'm stoked. Even though Brian's like, we're done, we're going home. Look at that oh my stud God. right there. Where's our sizzle? Sick. Dude, he's fat. Look at that. Like, look how fat he is. <laughs> that is I know they get bigger than this too, guys. I mean, that is a stud for me. Personal best. Sheep's head, AKA convict. What? Look at this thing. Stud right there, dude. Look down a little bit so I can see your face. Stud. <laughs> Heck yeah. Dude, look at the size of that. He's fat. Thing. He feels like three, four pounds. He's massive. Wow. Double the size of the ones we caught with Connor the other week. Yeah. Pretty epic, y'all. Yeah, totally. Pretty epic. I got so lucky with that fish. I almost thought I was going to break him off. He got right back into a structure down there. Sick. Sick. Time to go home. Racing against the clock, and we got to get a YouTube video up. The work never ends. <laughs> nice job, Dr. Sizzle, on that trip saver. No, no, trip saver. So. We caught a ton of snook. We didn't get that slot. We want to do a catch and cook. We'll yeah. get it next time. That's my problem. When I catch a nice fish, it's like always time to go home. And I'm like, why? I want to keep fish so much more so bad. <laughs> I really wish I could have kept that kept fishing. When we caught that nice fish, get our thumbnail, it's time to go home. Yeah. <laughs> So you know, when you guys are uh, when you're fishing those docks, you know she's fishing a jig, it's going towards the bottom. Fishing and I'm the fish bottom structure. Yeah, and I'm fishing uh, with a bobber on top. We're using 30 pound floral with those shrimp at the end and uh, thread fins in the beginning. So you know, just throw those docks, guys, and eventually you're gonna see where the fish are, and then you're gonna catch the fish, and you gotta have a moving current. So that's the ticket. That's key. Yep. Right. And the incoming tide seems to be doing well for us lately. A lot of times, I'm always a big believer in outgoing tide, but lately in the winter time, outgoing is key, in my opinion. Yeah, it just depends on where you are and try different things and you'll figure it out for your area. That's, that's what it is. It's all water time and that's it. All right, so you ready to wrap it up? So until next time. Follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.